In this video I'm going to show you how to change the battery in a Vauxhall or Opel key fob. So obviously the first thing you need to do is to buy a replacement battery. The battery you need is called a CR 2032, it's a coin style 3 volt battery. To fit this new battery we will need to open up our key fob and to do that we will just need a flathead screwdriver. First place the key fob face down on a flat surface in this direction. Place a screwdriver in the hole on the back and while using a bit of downward pressure angle the screwdriver backwards like so until it starts to slide open the key fob. It may take you a few attempts. If you look at this part here you can see what we're trying to do. When the case begins to separate then slide the fob apart. Take care not to lose this little rectangular piece inside the key section here. This is the transponder chip for your car's immobiliser. If you lose this, your key will no longer start your car and will result in an expensive trip to the dealership to have a new one programmed. It is fastened in quite securely, but just be aware of it to save yourself any problems. So now we have the middle section out, we need to open it up to get to the battery compartment. Hold it between your thumb and finger like this and on the side with just one clip insert the end of the screwdriver under that clip and gently twist the screwdriver to open the case. Then gently separate the two halves of the case. Now take the rear half of the case with the battery in it and gently lift out the old battery from this direction here. I'm just using a toothpick so you can see what I'm doing but you can just use your fingernail. Next gently press the new battery into place with the positive side facing upwards, that's the side with the writing on it. Now take the two halves of the key fob and gently clip them back together. Don't worry if the circuit board falls out of the other half, just gently put it back in place as shown. Lay the circuit board button side down. It can only go in one way around as well because of these cutouts on the circuit board for these bits of plastic to go through. Then clip the two halves together. You can actually test now if it's working by pressing the buttons. I'm pressing them here and I can just about hear my car opening and closing outside. Then finally, making sure the transponder chip is still in place, slide the two parts back together making sure you have it the right way around. This cut out here is for the transponder chip and wants to be on the same side as that. It will only slide in one way anyway without using brute force. Then keep pressing until it clips into place. And that's it. If after replacing the battery it still doesn't work and your battery has been dead or missing for quite a while, you may need to resynchronize your key fob to your car. You do this by inserting your key into your car's ignition, turn the key until the dash lights light up but don't start the engine running, and then just press one of the buttons on the key fob. This will resync your fob to your car if it was originally from that car, and it won't work with a different key fob from another car. If this video was useful to you then please give it a like and also consider subscribing to my channel. Hope it helped and thanks for watching.